Here's how to convert your narrated Ignite PowerPoint presentation into a YouTube video. Super fun stuff. Let's uh, first go and drag any of the audio icons that might be on your slide here in the middle off to the side so that we can't see them so that they're not at all in this rectangular area. We're going to export all these slides to pictures and it turns out that even if you've set the speaker icons to not show up during the presentation, they will still show up in the picture export. So just move all of the audio icons, anything that you don't want to be seen in the actual presentation off the screen. Um, unfortunately, this technique won't work for animation. If you have some in your, uh, in your presentation, sorry, stop watching the video right now. Um, but if you're desperate or if you don't have any animation like me, uh, you can just keep going with this method. So you'll need to save it, you'll need to export it as pictures. To do that, go to the menu up in the left or upper le left hand corner, go to save as, um, go to other formats, and change this to uh, PNG. PNG is a picture format. And name this something like Ignite in Pix, we'll call it that. And so then click save. It will ask you if you want to do every slide or just the current slide, click every slide. And it will spin its wheels for a little bit. Um, once it's done exporting, it will give you the path for where your um, pictures were exported to. Just remember that path. I've got that open pretty much. So we can go to here. Um, now, okay, so keep a window open with all of your Ignite uh, slides and then keep a window open with all of your recordings for each of the slides and number them if you haven't done so already in order of the slide that they are associated with. This will make it a lot easier once you've imported this into Movie Maker. So now open up Windows Movie Maker and you don't have to do this but I'm an organization freak so you can make a new collection folder call it Ignite and um, then we go back to our um, well, let's do the pictures first. We go back to our pictures folder and I copy these. I select all and then I copy and I click back in here. I click paste. This adds it to the collection. This doesn't add it to the timeline yet. So your resources are up here. What actually comes out of the pipe uh, at the end of all this is down here, but we got nothing so far. Before we do that, we want to add the recordings in. So we go here, we select all, we copy, go back to the collection just like before we paste. At this point it's probably a good idea to save your project. Um, so we'll call it Ignite 2 and now it won't freak out when it crashes later. Um, so you can select all of these now, select all, let's try that again. Uh, and then click add to timeline and it should add all of these and all the audio clips in order. Boom, there they are. You'll need to adjust the audio to match up to your slides. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. What you're gonna wanna do is uh, select the second clip and scroll over here to the last one. Now push the shift button, click the last slide and you're gonna wanna scroll back over here, it kind of jumps around on you a little bit. Um, you're going to want to move this uh, so that the beginning of your last slide matches up with the beginning of your last audio clip or thereabouts. And if you do this you'll most likely minimize the amount of moving around you have to do overall. So scoot this over just a little bit. And you'll need to go through, uh, click somewhere else to deselect the pictures. And you'll just need to click and drag to move these uh, to the appropriate spot in your slideshow. Uh, and you'll do this with all of these. Uh, and I won't show that right now. Okay, now that I've rearranged all of the clippies here, and we're good to go, we can export the movie. Go to File, Publish Movie, uh, select this computer, click Next. Select the file name and click next. Remember where you export it to. Uh, you can either choose best quality for playback on my computer or if you want to go the HD route, you can go to more settings and go to Windows Media HD 
and be cool like that and take advantage of the YouTube. And this actually does help a little bit because uh, sometimes the text on your slides will show up better. Um, but generally like the DVD resolution, whatever the default is, is it's decent. It's just a little more readable if you do it with a higher resolution. It will also take longer. So we'll click publish here and it will take some time after which we will uh, upload. After your file is finished exporting, you can go to YouTube. And if you don't have an account there already, you should probably get one at this point. Uh, I'm just gonna assume you already do. Um, if you don't, pause, come back, and let me know once you're there and logged in. So here I am logged in, Kubeman. I'm gonna click upload. And I'm gonna go find files from my computer. This is pretty straightforward. Um, here we go. There's my presentation video. I'll click OK. And it'll be uploading and we can fill in all these things and uh, then click saved. Uh, if you want to be fun and let people reuse your work, you can click the Creative Commons Attribution License and be part of the open source movement yourself. Uh, this has been a Carl Schradel presentation and I hope your uh, finals go well.